Hey guys, today's lesson will be how to do a side kick uh, to the ribs of your opponent. Uh, but before we start, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you won't miss next week's video. Let's go! So guys, um, when you are going to do a side kick, um, you just put on your position. If you are more of a boxing orientated guy and you have a wide stance, it's a bit hard to do. If you are a bit more of a tired stance, so your feet are close together, it's a bit easier. But just find your own way. The, the, the right way of perform, performing it is twist your shoulder in, so you like get a, a little bit of stretch on your hip. So it fires like a catapult. So you twist and then your leg continues. Make sure your hip goes totally to the target, so don't keep your hip at your own in a straight line, but twist it, so you generate way more power. Also try to twist your foot, so don't keep your toes pointing to your adversary, but put them a bit sideways, so you won't get a, a real tension on your knee. The second part is, try to hit your target with your shin, not with your foot. Of course you can in Savat, they do it with the toes. In Taekwondo, they hit with the feet. They have a really long weapon. But now I'm trying to destroy my opponent's ribs by kicking it as hard as I can. And um, in my opinion, uh, with the shin bone, you generate the most power. So <coughs> when you are standing, you twist in the body and you fire away your kick. Make it in a like 45 degree angle and try to hit the lower ribs. So when you want to execute it, you just twist in the body, plus, and you hit it. Because I'm turning it and hitting it with my shin bone, shin bone, it's like a baseball bat hitting your opponent. So you really want to kick through your opponent. So when I'm kicking in here, I want to push my energy way over here. So it's like, if you, uh, notice that you keep hitting with your foot, you are probably too far away from your opponent. Uh, like I already told you in another lesson with my low kick, um, when you can punch someone, that's a nice distance where you can kick someone. If I cannot punch him, I will hit him with my foot. And you can easily get an injury from that when you kick an elbow or something. So just make a step. One, plus, that's exactly the right uh, distance for your kick. So I hope these tips uh, help you a bit with uh, practicing your uh, kicks. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you next week.